what can wash away our sins there is nothing but the blood of jesus the psalmist said without the shedding of blood there is no remission of sin and by shedding of the blood we have received forgiveness of sin hallelujah yes oh yes oh. What can wash away my sins? I tell by the blood, the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? I tell by the blood, the blood of Jesus. And greetings, my sister. I pray for you. God bless you, Mama God. A flow that makes, makes me white as snow And all that I felt I know Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus There is nothing but the blood of Jesus Oh, it's only the blood, the blood of Jesus Christ mm. Oh my God in this I see nothing The blood, the blood of Jesus For my friends in this I plead nothing Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus And oh precious is the flow that makes me white as snow no, no. I found I know nothing nothing but the blood of blood of Jesus there is only one thing the blood of Jesus hmm, nothing but the blood of Jesus Christ the blood the blood oh yes Oh yes. Oh, this is all my hope and peace. Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. This is all. My righteousness, nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. And oh, precious is the flow that makes me white, white as snow. No, no other friends I know. The blood, the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is only the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The blood that was shed on Calvary Cross in the name of Jesus. Father, once again, we want to thank you. We bless you for every opportunity before your presence. Your presence, there is fullness of joy. Speak to us. Holy Spirit, take us on the control and minister to us in the name of Jesus. There is nothing that can wash away our sins. And nothing but the blood of Jesus. It's only the blood of Jesus. Greetings to you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. And may he give uh, grant you peace in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, David said, I have been young and I am old. I have not seen the righteous forsaken by God. Neither his descendants beg and break. And so when you live righteously for God, and if you live for God, his words will, be, will come to pass in your life. The Bible says that he is faithful who has called us and he will bring it to pass. The Lord is faithful, ever faithful. 
May the Lord strengthen you. May the Lord encourage you. May the Lord empower you to win this battle of life. Having the right attitude. Right attitude. Confess. Having a positive attitude as a Christian. Do not consider yourself as a failure. Don't consider yourself as somebody who have lost this battle of life. See possibility. See that there is good things before you. Somebody says that life does not guarantee us or give us warranties and guarantees. But life gives us possibilities and opportunities. And the opportunities and uh, the possibilities that life gives us, if we choose right and we make good use of the opportunities through the Lord Jesus Christ, we will win this battle of life. Yesterday, I was talking to a woman of God, and the, that woman told me, Greetings to you, greetings, greetings in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And that woman of God was telling me, so for do you know the Nigerians that came to Ghana have taught us a lot of lessons? I say why? He says that we taught that there was no work in Ghana, but these uh, foreigners taught us how to do and how to do things. And now uh, some of us we have involved ourselves, and it is blessing us, my brother, my sister, child of God. Listen, <laughs> everywhere you stay, everywhere you live, allow yourself have a positive mind. Encourage yourself with the word of God. You break through. Hey, all things are possible to them that believes. Your story will never conclude with a tragedy. A tragedy means a sad ending. But let it conclude with happiness, joy. In the Lord Jesus Christ. In the Lord Jesus Christ. Have a positive attitude. Say to yourself, enough is enough. On this earth I will make an impact. I will look through the Lord Jesus Christ. I will, will allow myself and my life will affect somebody's life in a positive way. And it is going to be possible for you in the name of Jesus. Yesterday I started talking about the 12 men that were sent to the land to spy the land. And there were 12. 10 came with a negative mind. It was only two that came with positive mind. And the two that came with positive mind were Caleb and Joshua. And today I want us to consider Caleb and Joshua. We're going to read Numbers, Numbers chapter 13. We will read Numbers 13. We're going to read from 30 downwards. Numbers 13. And we see how they saw they saw it, the land with a different eyes. They saw it with a different mind. And within themselves, yes, they were the children of Anna. They were huge. And they have been a thorn in the lives of the Israelites. They have been people who have prevented the Israelites for so long. They saw the children of Anak, And before their eyes, they said that we were like grasshoppers. How did Joshua and Caleb, how did they see themselves? How do you see yourself in this battle of life? With Jesus, all things are possible. My brother, my sister, child of God, see yourself as somebody who has the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember the Bible says, as many that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the children of God. They are the children of God. They are the children of God. Verse 27, and they told him and said, we came into the land, whether thou send us, and surely it, it flows with milk and honey. And this is the fruit of it. Nevertheless, the people be strong that dwells in the land. The people that dwells in the land are so strong that we cannot. We are not able. We are not able. But <laughs> they continued. And, and they said, nevertheless, the people are strong that dwells. Verse 29 said, the Amalekites dwell in the land of the south. The Hittites and the Jebusites, the Amorites, dwells in the mountains. And the Canaanites dwells in the sea by the coast. And Caleb still the people before Moses and said, Let us go up at once and possess us, for we are well able to overcome. We are well able. This is the difference. Two opinions. Two opinions. The same topics. The same thing. They have two opinions. People will discourage you. People will talk bad words into your ears. 
People will tell you uh, you make a wrong decision, a wrong choice. People will tell you you don't amount to anything. Some people will tell you that because of the family that you come in, there is no success. They will strike as much as possible to even refer to some of the things that has happened previously. Maybe you went through bad things. Your sibling, your grandfather, your great-grandfather, your uncle, somebody in your family did something. And so, so long as it did not go well with them, it is not going to go well with you. You have a different name. You have a different name. I always tell people, and I continue to tell them, that we all traveled from different homes to America. We came with different names. We came for different purpose. And so don't look to somebody to live your life. Look to the Lord Jesus Christ. My brother, my sister, child of God, let's to look to Jesus Christ. Look to Jesus. The other ten say we, can, we are not able. My prayer is that you know that your attitude is not just automatically. It can turn your, your problems into blessing if you have the right attitude. The Bible says that this mind be in us that was in Christ Jesus. A mind that was in Christ Jesus. If this mind is in us, we, we will live and we will enjoy. Do you know that there are some people, they don't have anything, but because they have Christ in them, <laughs> the Bible says Christ in you, the hope of glory. Joy overflow. Joy overflow. Have a, a positive, positive attitude. As a Christian, as a child of God, see things on this earth through the eye of the Lord Jesus Christ and you win this battle don't fold your hands and sit down don't fold your hands and sit down and fold your hands there are many Christians they are failing because because they take they take their emotions and their feelings as as being led by the Holy Spirit as being led by the Holy Spirit not everything there is difference between being led by the Holy Spirit and using your emotions and your feeling. I was listening to a man and that man talked sense. There are many Christians sitting in the church. Instead of taking the money and investing, he says that I feel that the Holy Spirit, then he will take, he will take every money and go use that money as an offering. Take his or her investment, her capital on his capital and go and, if, and 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 just give us an offering it is a feeling it's not an emotion my prayer is that you you understand i am not saying that don't don't give i am not saying that don't help the church but you have to know the difference between your feeling and your emotions don't let don't let somebody lead you your capital that you used to invest in the business do the business and work then you go and sit in the church and say that I, I feel and somebody is saying then you go to the bank and redraw all your capital and come and give it. Hallelujah. <laughs> this is the same thing. It's like having a hen. You have a hen. And the hen lays eggs. And the eggs <laughs> it will hatch out and come become chicken. Then all of a sudden, you decide to kill the hen. You kill the hen. You never get eggs again. Neither will you get chicken. Neither will you get chicken. See possibilities and see opportunities and work according to the Holy Spirit. If you are led by the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit knows. He knows the end from the beginning. Many are failing. Many are dying. Christians, many Christians are failing. The Bible says, lack of knowledge, my people are perishing. Because somebody will tell you that if you come and invest, God is going to bless you. Do you think, do you think that God, God is not an order of confusion? Somebody will not like it when you begin to preach and tell them, Christians should be the wisest people on earth. Christians should be the wisest people and know when and not. Don't let anybody lead you astray. May the Lord help us. The people said that we cannot. Again, your attitude can change your problems into a blessing.
That is why the Bible says, all things work together for good for those who love God and those who are called according to the will of God and the purpose of God. Be wise. Do not be some, like somebody who don't have any knowledge on this earth. Walk and do the will of God. Live as somebody who has been born by the Holy Spirit, by the word of God. And you end up, Caleb says, say that, let, we, let us go up. It is possible. But the man that went up with him said, we are not able to go up against the people. For they are stronger than we. They are stronger. Because they saw the, the children of Anna. The same thing is happening on earth. On earth, if you look at some people, they are, how they, they are built their structure and the money and how they are, you think that oh, 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 you cannot succeed on this earth. Don't despise small beginning. Don't despise small beginning. My brother, my sister, don't despise small beginning. I have had many people that started small, but the end is big. Everything big on earth starts very small. Except you have positive attitude. Have a positive attitude. The Bible says, let this mind be in us that was in Christ Jesus. Have the mind of Christ. Jesus Christ walked on this earth and he has positive attitude. They have, everything he sees, he says that if we have a faith as a monster seed, we can turn mountains to remove. People think that if you become a Christian, Christians are the most stupid and foolish people because we have been deceived. We have been deceived. It is not, it is not, Christianity is not emotions and my feelings. Christianity is not something that somebody will tell you. That is why you have to renew your mind by, by reading the word of God. Live in the word of God. And allow yourself to be led by the Holy Spirit. The men came. Caleb said, we are able to go. Let's go and take the land. The man said, the man said no, 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 no. <laughs> Verse 31, number 31, 13, 31. He said, but the man went up with him said, we are not able to go up against the people. For they are strong than we. And they brought up an evil report of the land which they has searched unto the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone to search it, it is a land that eats up its own inhabitants. Listen to this. How can a land eat own inhabitants? The people that dwell on the lands. How can the land eat up its own people? The people that dwell on the land. Because somebody saw it differently. Somebody saw it differently. I was listening to a, a, a woman that was interviewing the, the, the husband and then one of their children on TikTok and I was just laughing. The woman brought two colors. The woman brought two colors and asked the husband and the, the son, what color is this? And honestly, it was white. It was white. And the son said it is white. The husband said it is black. The husband said it is black. And the, the woman got angry. He says, but you, can, you can see. The man said, that is what my eyes see. My eyes see it as black. Uh, and uh, everybody was laughing. You see, it depends on how you see it. Uh, so what you see is what you receive. Uh, you can never change what you perceive and what you think. That is why somebody said, if your eye or your mind, your mind locates uh, your destination, your heart will create a map. They said that we saw, uh, we, we are not able, we cannot, it is impossible. I am talking about right attitude. The right attitude will determine your relationship. It will determine how you'll be able to, to, to live and win this battle of life. You know that many people, because of their attitude, have lost many good things in life. It is possible. Wherever you are living, my brother, my sister, with prayer, with prayer and supplication, let God lead somebody. Let God bring somebody out of the dungeons. The Bible says in James 4 verse 10 that we should humble ourselves before the Lord and he will exalt us in due time. 
Just humble yourself and allow the Lord. Pray. Prayer is the key. Because when you pray, every demonic force cannot overcome you. It will, it will become a barrier around you. And the little that you have, you can sow. And by sowing, you will receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Hebrews 13 verse 15 says, Through him, then let us continuously offer up a sacrifice of praise to God that is the fruit of our lips that acknowledge his name. We continue to acknowledge him and lift up. We will win this battle. They said, we are not able. We cannot. And they brought up an evil report of the land which they have searched upon the children of Israel, saying, the land through which we have gone to search, it is its own inhabitants. And all the people that we saw in, the, uh, in it are men of great stature. And there we saw the giants, the sons of Anak, which of which comes of the giants. It's, let me go back and read it. He said, there, there we saw the, the giants, the sons of Anak, which comes of the giants. And we, see, we were in our own sight as grasshoppers. And so we were. They saw themselves as grasshoppers. They saw themselves as grasshoppers. Say that we are not able. Because, because, the, because of the children of Anak, we are not able. How can you see yourself as a grasshopper in your own sight? Meaning that you have reduced yourself not even to an, an animal, but to an insect. To an insect. Reduce yourself to an insect. My prayer is that somebody that is listening to me see positive possibility in your life. Have a positive attitude. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will bless you. The Bible says, let this mind be in us that was in Christ Jesus. If we have the mind of Christ, if we have the mind of Christ, we will win this battle of life. We will win this battle of life in the name of Jesus Christ. Having the same mind of Christ is having the same or meaning possessing an attitude of joy. Be joyful. Be joyful. Be, be joyful. And walk in this land as a man who have the Lord. The Bible says that the joy of the Lord is our strength. You see things and you think, the Bible says, whatsoever things that are true, whatsoever things that are well, uh, honest, the things that are just, if there is any virtue, we should think about these things. And if you're a Christian, think about the things that are true, the things that are honest. Do the will of God. Live a righteous life. This is the key. I will every day tell you there is no, no other gospel apart from the gospel of righteousness. The Bible says the Lord knows them. His, the Lord knows his own people, the children that he has chosen. Let me go read Second Timothy. I'll come back to Second Timothy. Let me read Second Timothy. And I'll read Second Timothy verse 2 verse and the verse 19. Listen to this. He said, Nevertheless, the foundation of God stands sure, having this seal. The Lord knows them that are his. And let everyone that name the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Depart from iniquity. Something that the world don't want to hear. Something that the end time generation don't want to hear. Jesus said, as it was in the days of Noah, so it will be in the days of the Son of Man. They ate and they drank. They were having parties. Nowadays, nobody want to hear the word of God. Nobody want to give ears to the word of God. Why? Because all they want is give me the world. Give me the world. But in, in the olden days, when true gospel was there, somebody had decided that he had decided to follow Jesus and said that no turning back. The world behind me, the cross before me. The world behind me, the cross before me. And he says, do none go with me. Yes, I will not turn back. I will trust him. There were men and women that decided for the Lord Jesus Christ. And by that, they were able to win this battle of life. Let them that make 
Mention the name of the Lord. Depart from iniquity. Depart from iniquity. And you live. In this life you have joy. For fulfillment. For your soul. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus Christ. His name is Jesus Christ. Uh, let me, let's consider another woman in the Bible. Uh, let's go to Mark chapter 5. And I want to talk. Consider a woman who had a positive attitude. And through that positive attitude, he heard about Jesus Christ and thought that no matter how sick she was, she has a, an issue of blood. I don't know your issue. Maybe you have physical issue. You have financial issue. You have social issues. You have different issues. You have uh, uh, health issues. But bring it to the Lord Jesus. Come to the Lord. The Bible says, All oh, that who are laden and heavily laden come to Him, and He will give you rest. Take His yoke upon you. Learn from Him. For His yoke is easy, and His burden is light. His burden is light. <laughs> Having a positive attitude, having the same mind of Christ is having an attitude of joy. Let me go read John, uh, let me read uh, uh, Proverbs 29 and the verse 18, Proverbs 29, verse 18. Let's go to Proverbs 29 and the verse 18. And let's hear the word of God, what the Bible says. Uh, I went to Psalms, Proverbs 20, Proverbs 29 in the verse 18 somebody hear the word of god he says that where there is no vision the people perish but he that keeps the law he's always happy have a vision and that vision should be the mind of christ it habakkuk also says that the vision is for appointed time the vision is for appointed time though it may delay it will not go the way you want it at times it will linger. Things will not go the way you want. But all you need to do is to wait for it. Hold on. And it shall surely come to pass. It shall surely come to pass. The Bible says in Mark chapter 5, when you start from verse 20, a man called Jairus came to the Lord Jesus Christ and told Jesus that his daughter is sick. He said, and behold, there come one of the rulers of the synagogue, Jairus by name, and when he saw him, he fell at his feet. And he besought him greatly, saying, My do little daughter lies at the point of death. I pray thee, come and lay thy hands on her, that she might be healed, and she shall live. And Jesus went with him, and much people followed him, having a right attitude. If you have the right attitude, <laughs> though your, your beginning may be small but your end will be big though people will count you out but God will count you in people will write you off but <laughs> the Bible says blotting out every handwriting of God that was against him, uh, that was against us taking it out of the way and nailing it to the cross the blood of Jesus will take it away let them write you out let them talk about you <laughs> let them dislike you do you know that Saul disliked David? Saul did not like David because of the victory of David. But do you know that God said, I have chosen David. David is my heart. I have learned one thing in life. I will never hate anybody. And I thank God. I have I have never, I will never hate anybody and I will never envy anybody. <clears throat> I will never. And I thank God for that. Some of us, this is the glory of God that God has given to us. Me, I, I, have, I have never and will never envy anybody. No. Because the, I don't know. You can be the David that God has chosen. How can I envy? How can I fight God? You, I cannot fight God. I cannot fight God. And that is why God has graciously been blessing us. Because I have never envied anybody. I will never. I pray that one thing I pray that I will be able to do the will of God. Do the will of God. And so it, it helps me to be careful in life. Be careful. The Lord will lay a table before you in the presence of your enemy. Don't envy. And have a positive and right attitude. Live a, live a, a truthful life. And in this life you succeed. You succeed. It will work together for your good. 
Jesus was going, and the Bible says in verse 25, a certain woman which has an issue of blood for 12 years. The Bible says she had an issue. What is your issue? Your issue can be a social issue. Your issue can be a financial issue. When poverty has surrounded you, I will every day tell you poverty is a spirit. Poverty is a spirit. It's a spirit. Somebody say you don't believe. You sit down. You sit down. There are you, you think uh, all the people who are failing in life, they are failing because because uh, because they want to fail. Somebody, somebody that is one thing that is destroying Africa. And when you say it, somebody will say everything you say the devil. You sit down. You sit down. And don't allow the Lord to give you an eye to see. There are some people, what happens in your dream? They will, they will force you to be poor. They will force you to destroy the witches and the wizards. They are very dangerous. I every day say that people who are envious, <laughs> envious is a, another form of witchcraft. Envious. And it is within the Africans. We have traveled to Europe. You have traveled to Europe, Asia. You have traveled to America. You come from different families. But somebody have time to think about your success. And how, how hard you are working. There are hard working men and women. But somebody will go. And go to the voodoo. Go and sit down. Just to destroy somebody. His or her hard effort that she has put, she's put it in. That is why you need to pray. Many homes have been destroyed. Many lives have been destroyed. Because of evil friends and evil uh, people, neighbors. But may the Lord who created heaven arise. May God fight your battle. Whoever dig a pit for you, let the same person fall in. Whoever have any bad, bad mind and think bad about you, let them not strike them. Let them not strike them. Let them not strike them. Because they open your life. Hallelujah. My prayer is that may the Lord, may the Lord, God, open the heavens unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Look, the Lord is ever faithful. My brother, my sister, have a positive attitude. Have a positive attitude. Pray for them. Pray for the people that are around you that they will repent they will repent not only repenting but have salvation accept jesus christ as their lord and personal savior if you accept jesus as your personal savior my brother my sister your life will change forever i am talking about positive attitude living a life that is worthy of the cross worthy of the cross of our lord jesus christ positive attitude will bring to pass you, you you will see the uh, the future in the eye of christ remember the lord will not consult anybody before he decide your future the lord will not consult your family history before he decide your future the lord the lord jesus don't need anybody all he needs is your heart he needs a humble heart the bible says that the lord loves the broken hearted and the contrite spirit he will never forsake this woman have an issue of blood. And verse 20 says, Say he has suffered many things of many physicians. Meaning that he has been moving from one physician to another, one hospital to another. And talk about these physicians. I believe there were people around her that was trying to give her different medication. Oh, go here. Go and take this leaf and take this tree. It's going to be well. Hey, I know this man. Go to this man. This woman has suffered and suffered and suffered. A child of God, if you have come to Jesus, look to Jesus. Look to Jesus and hold on to Jesus and do the right thing. Live a rightful life. Live a, right, a righteous life. Live it. It is not living righteousness in garment. It's righteousness in the heart. Righteousness in the heart. Righteousness in the heart. Let me, let me say this. I said this the other day. You see, when you read the Bible, the Bible says that men should not wear, wear women's clothes. And, and, and uh, women should not wear men's clothes. And the other day, somebody was arguing it. 
That's when you put on pants. The African will call it trousers. It's sin. It's sin. And I was just standing there. I was just looking. I, I told her, go and read the Bible. Well, I believe in the Bible. The Bible said women. The Bible did not say trousers. Trousers is not for. <laughs> See, when you go to the store, understand this. When they saw, they saw women's pants and they saw men. And so the Bible is saying, when you, if you are man, you go to the store. Don't go and buy women's pants and put it on. The Bible did not say pants or trap just a sin. Lack of knowledge. You go to the store and you buy women's clothes and come and wear some men. As in our generation, some, some men have come to America. You see them every day. You see them every day. Men who have turned themselves into women and wearing women's clothes. Lack of knowledge. Somebody will not agree. I told the man of God, if you are telling me that maybe somebody wear, a woman wear pants and you are lustful for then I will understand you. But if you tell me that is, if somebody wear a pants or trousers as a sin, you need to go back to your Bible. The Bible did ne never listed any specification. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that somebody will understand the Bible, read the Bible, and come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Righteousness in the heart. Righteousness in the heart. Righteousness in the heart. Live a righteous life. Somebody will disagree with me. I have a woman who sent me a list of things. And I was able to sit down and teach her the Bible through the Holy Spirit. And she understood it and says, Sophie, you have opened my eyes. I am not telling you to, to go and sin. I will tell you, be, be wise and, and understand the scripture. Live a righteous life. God, Jesus came and asked us to live a, a righteous life. Righteousness that comes from out of their heart. If, if the Holy Spirit is telling you this is wrong, then obey the Holy Spirit. This is the Holy Spirit that we follow. I pray in the name of Jesus. The other day, sir, I, I, I was preaching somewhere, and, I, and a, a woman came to me and tell, told me, told me that uh, why is it that the church, uh, all the women are wearing earrings? It is sin to wear earrings. I told her, go and show me in the Bible where where the Bible says you wearing earrings is sin. The Bible said that when Moses went onto the mountains, they took their earrings and made it an image made the, the rings earrings an image and so the, it is what the image that they worship they did not worship the earrings i pray in the name of jesus christ that some people will understand the scripture understand the scripture may the lord have mercy on us and somebody gave me another scripture and says that because of their brightness, because of their lives. And so be, hey, I pray in the name of Jesus. One of the things is to live a righteous life. Jesus, look it at the inside. Jesus, look what is in the inside. What, what you think. We don't have an evil mind. Don't have anything. Live a righteous life. And in this land, you find fulfillment for your soul. Somebody is not happy. Because from generation your church have been telling you some of these things are sin. I always tell you that the entire charismatic leaders have deceived us. They have made us to know that the gospel will immediately you become a Christian. The whole world belongs to you. You come to the Lord for riches. Who told you? Jesus Christ came. He says, I came to seek for the, those who were lost. He came to give us salvation. You come to the Lord Jesus Christ for your salvation. And when you seek Him and seek the righteousness, automatically the Bible says everything will be added unto you. 
and this is something that people think that everything will be added unto you you sit down and everything will be open man now be falling who told you the bible says that after god created heaven and earth god bless man so let me go back to genesis and it's only the lazy christians that will sit down and pray 24 hours 20, 24 hours seven days without working you become poor and if you don't take care you go to hell he says that verse 27 god created man in his own image and in the image god created male and female and god blessed them and god said unto them be fruitful and multiply replenish the earth subdue it and have dominion over fishes and so god gave a command to human beings not to christians and so if you're a muslim you work you earn money if you're a christian you work if you're a buddhist this is a law of life money is end money don't fall from heaven money don't 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 you you don't come to church and somebody says that come and pay thousand dollars tomorrow you're going to be a millionaire you're not going to die it's lies it's like tell tell any man of god who will tell you tell the man of god says that come and give a thousand dollars come and give there is no the magic in the kingdom when you work and that is why from the beginning i told you if you have the money you invest it as a christian don't eat your capital and come and, and follow your emotions and go home and say that god is going to bless me god will not bless you i am talking about having a positive attitude and living a rightful life as a christian as a child of god as a child of god I pray in the name of Jesus, my brother, my sister, child of God, to live your righteous and do the will of God. Again, I say, I say that poverty is a spirit. And pray, if you're a Christian, work. <laughs> yeah. A man of God called me and said something. Went to preach in a church. And another man of God called him and was angry. You know the reason why. This man of God said that. If we come to church everybody comes to church to worship god but if you are a pastor and you don't work and you come to church listen to it once people come to church to worship you also come to church to worship but the second thing is that because it's the only job you are also coming to work and so most pastors because they are coming to work they don't come to worship god this is true and another pastor got angry because he don't work because he don't work and so if you're a pastor you are full-time pastor the same time people that come to worship god you are also going to work because that is where you end your living and this because it is their work it has deceived them they can't do the right thing they can't worship as people come to worship and they are leading people astray and so be, because of money because of their uh, how they are going to pay their rent and their bills they have to preach a gospel to make you happy and to give everything that you have. They have him for it. Somebody don't like it. But that is the word of God. This woman has issue of blood. And the Bible says she has suffered many. Many things. I thank God for the word of God. And I always pray that God give me more insight of the word of God. Give me more insight of the word of God. That I will be able to, to live a righteous life. That is why I every day say that I will never depend on anybody. I will work and I will do everything possible. So that I, when I come, I can preach the true word of God. And I will also be able to live a righteous life. Live a righteous life. Jairus called Jesus that my daughter is sick. And on the way, this woman comes in look at how this woman has suffered but one thing that saved this woman is a positive attitude positive attitude the bible says she has spent all her money on physicians and was nothing better but rather she was get was getting worse and worse like some of the situation you wake up in the morning you have prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and you wake up in the morning it's still the same you wake up in the morning it's still the same and you ask yourself oh god when are you going to visit me when is my story going to change when people are going to uh, 
You see? Be vigilant. There are many Christians, they are not vigilant. They are not vigilant. Be wise and protect. Hallelujah. Be vigilant. This woman, when she heard about the Lord Jesus, he said, when she heard of Jesus coming in the press behind and touch his coming, she heard about the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything was against this woman. Remember, for 12 good years, this woman have, was having an issue of blood. And so the smell even around her will prevent her even from, from, from going into the crowd, the people. And two, she did not have the strength even, even to struggle with the men that were around the Lord Jesus Christ. But determination, persistency, consistency. Consistency. See, I told some people, when we started preaching, there were, there were many people that came on life. Came on life, doing what we are doing. But now most of them, almost all of them, they have gone out. They are failing. Why? Because it, you cannot do it by your own strength. You cannot do it. You, except the Holy Spirit. Today I was a little bit oh, late. Do you know why? I woke up and I did not feel like coming to preach. I was tired. I was tired. And I was just sitting now. <laughs> Another voice was telling, why don't you sleep? And the woman of God called and said, Sophie, we are waiting for you. Say, I'm tired. And then I, the Spirit of God told me, somebody wants to hear. Even if it's one person, you bless their life. You bless their life. I want to speak through you. It is determination. You have to be led by the Holy Spirit. You have to pour your life as water. And I thank God for that. This woman had an issue. There are many things that will not go your way. But with the de determination. With persistency. Yes, hold on. The Bible says she pressed from behind. She was sick. And nobody wanted to. Imagine. Imagine. A woman who have an issue. Her blood for 12 years. If it was a man. The woman will be able to wait. Most women are very good. But a no man who, who have the patient to wait for 12 years. 12 good years. But now, <laughs> that man, the husband had already married, having uh, kids. And so you know the problem where the woman was coming from. Everything was against her. Everything was against her. <laughs> Physicians have taken her money. And it was getting worse. And let's talk about how, what people will be saying about her. I always remember when we were young. I remember we were here very young. And my mother took us to her village in Koforodia Tafo, Sikesu. We went to the village. And we saw one lady sitting outside. She was not coming inside. She was not coming inside. We ran and asked my mother, why is she not coming inside? She's always sitting outside. She's always sitting outside. And my mother was laughing. Do you know that in the, uh, the old days was a woman have her cycle in the villages she, she has to go out and sit outside and so when I read this story you realize that the woman having this for 12 good years it wasn't easy it wasn't easy nobody but when she met Jesus Christ she said that I know when I touch his garment will be hold. She had a positive attitude. She determined to have a breakthrough. L listen to me, woman. Listen to me. My brother, listen to me. Without determination, you can never have a breakthrough. You have to determine. I have never seen anybody who will all of a sudden stand up and say, I want to be a nurse. And all of a sudden, you are a nurse or a medical doctor, an engineer. You have to go through an exercise. Yesterday I saw a man who posted uh, uh, Usain Bolton and uh, uh, oh this swimmer, I've forgotten his name. Uh, American swimmer, I've forgotten his name right now. And posted the two of them. The two of them, their pictures. And said that they became world and received a lot of medals. Not because they had coaches. They had coaches and they trained. 
You have to train. You have to work hard. Persistency will give you a breakthrough. Don't sit down and fold your hands. You start something today that is not working good. Don't close the chapter. This woman did not stop there. I believe somebody would tell her, go, go, go. You just you smell it. Get away from us. I imagine she, she would have got gotten angry and went back. She was not going to have a, heal, a healing. Again, have a positive attitude as a Christian. Don't let any iota of doubt be in you. The Bible says, whoever doubted should not expect anything good thing from the Lord. Don't doubt. Have faith in the Lord. Have a positive mind. Jesus had a positive mind. And if you come to the Lord Jesus, have a positive mind. Pray against any demonic people. Pray against them. And in this life, you win this battle of life. And the Bible says that, the Bible says that uh, when she had heard of Jesus, she, she came. And verse 28, it says, and straight away, the fountain of her blood was dried up. And she, she felt in her body that she was healed of the plague. She was healed. Why? Because she had a positive attitude. And determined that if I touch his garment, I will be whole. And I all straight away. And Jesus said, when Jesus heard, he said that Jesus immediately knew in, in himself that virtue had gone out of him. Ten about in the press and said, Who touched my clothes? And his disciples said unto him, Thou seest the multitude thronging thee, and say that who touched my clothes? It is impossible. A lot of people. But Jesus knew that somebody's fate has made a whole. What is your fate? What? How is your fate? Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Anything that will cause you to sin, anything that will make you sin, my brother, my sister, child of God, anything that will cause you to sin, live a righteous life. Live it. Don't, don't, don't cover yourself in the things, with the things of this world. Don't live in, on the things of this world. Anything that will cause you to sin, Again, listen to me. Anything that will cause you to sin, do away with this. The Bible says we should lay away sin and wait. There are some things in life, it is not sin. It is not sin, but it will not allow you to go to heaven. It will, it will dry the presence of God around you. Don't do it. Anything that will not allow the presence of God to dwell around me, no, I will never do it. I'll just walk away from it. Live a righteous life. And you find joy for this. The Bible says, and Jesus <laughs> told the woman that you you have been made whole. And his disciples said it and look around. But the woman fearing, trembling, knowing what was done in her, came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. And he said unto her daughter, Thy faith have made thee whole. Go in peace and be hold of thy plague. And so the woman went. She came to Jesus with a sickness. But because of her faith, she went away being healed. You have come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Have faith and do the right thing. Have a positive mind. Yes, your situation may be worse. People will talk you out. If it's some, sometimes something that happened to somebody, is the same as what, is, what you are going through. Somebody died of a cancer. And so immediately you are being diagnosed. And even if it's not there, you begin to think about your death. That you have already died. You are digging your own grave. You are digging your own grave with your mind and your, your, your body. Have a positive attitude. Tell yourself, I shall not die. I will not die, but I will live to declare the goodness of God. It will become a testimony for people. It will become a testimony for people. May the Lord bless you. May he strengthen you and give you peace in the name of Jesus Christ. We never end our broadcast without giving somebody an opportunity to accept Christ as his 
Lord and personal Savior. Say, Lord Jesus, I, today I accept you as my Lord. You always say you came for your own, but your own receive you not. But as many that receive you, them that believe in your name, you gave them power to become your children. As I have accepted you and believe in you, or you wait, lead me until you come. We'll call you from this world. In Jesus' name, Amen. May the Lord bless you. And may the Lord open the heavens up to you and give you peace in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are going to enter into a time of prayer. I always tell you, find a church. Find a church. There are people that go to churches because one. They go to churches because somebody is going there. The others go to the church just because there are a lot of people in the church. The others go to the church because of their needs. But I will encourage you, go to a church where you find Jesus. You find Jesus Christ. Where you hear the message of the cross. And they will tell you, live a righteous life. Follow the Lord Jesus Christ. And you have salvation for your soul. Don't go to a place where they will begin to tell you things that will make you happy. You feel comfortable. That will, will, will make you. No, no, no. Comfortability does not make the word of God come to pass. And every day tells you that there is a difference between feelings and the Holy Spirit. Your emotions go to a place that you hear the presence of God, that the Lord is ministering to you and telling you, you go, my son, my daughter, and live a righteous life. God, heaven will stand up and everything will be added unto you. In the name of Jesus, we are going to pray. We are going to enter into a time of prayer. Uh, pray with us. I Every day, I will tell you that, me, I don't pray for you. I pray with you. I pray with you. The reason why we pray with you is that when you know how to pray, in your secret, at your corner, you'll be able to pray. But if somebody pray for you, if somebody pray for you, you know, know how to pray. Many people pray, then they have won victories. Learn how to pray. Don't leave your prayer closet. It is the, the, the only battle that God, or, or the weapon that God has given to you to win. And with prayer, every other weapon will come together. And so learn how to pray yourself. Make time for prayer. Make time for prayer. Uh, you, you can start for five minutes. And it will increase by the time you realize your prayer an hour. I read a book by Cho Yongi. Africa, we say Yongi Cho. And say a Christian who cannot pray one hour, you cannot stand the devil. And I, I think it is right. If you cannot pray an hour a day, I have learned to pray it hard. Begin to thank God. Let's thank God. Just begin to thank God. Open your mouth and thank God. Bless the name of the Lord. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you. I thank you. Thank God for his word. We are thanking him. We are blessing his name. We are blessing the name of the Lord. Our God is good. Our God is good. Just thank God. Bless the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Sudorobo, e banda da brande si corono riada ba, e ba banda da ba, rica da bojende de branda sudorobo. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, rica da bojende da branda sudorobo, e ba banda da branda sudorobo, e banda da ba. In the name of Jesus, somebody up here, my friend, pray, pray and say, Lord Jesus, Father, thank you, Lord, I thank you, I bless you, I give you praise. In the name of Jesus. We are going to pray. There are many people, their issue in their life it needs the hand of Jehovah. It needs the hand of Jehovah. We pray in the name of Jesus. We pray in the name of Jesus. The Father, whoever is the reason behind my trouble, whoever is the reason behind my life, hey, listen, you cannot, you cannot convict uh, convert uh, 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 any spirit there are demons you cannot convert them you pray and drive them away prevent yourself when you read psalm 20 it says the name of uh, the name of uh, uh, the lord uh, jacob will be our our what let me go read psalm 20 so uh, psalm 20 and verse 1 let me read it 
He says that uh, the Lord hear us. He says that the name of the Lord shall be what? A strong tower before us. Uh, Psalm 20. He said, The Lord hear thee in the days of trouble. The name of God of Jacob defend thee. The name of God of Jacob defend thee. And so when you pray, you pray, the name of the Lord will be a permanent wall of fire around you. You cannot, you cannot convince them, you cannot convert the demons. They will not change. The Lord has prepared a day for destruction. And so that is why you have to pray every day. For human beings, they can repent. And there are two different kinds of repentance. Repent that that leads uh, is godly sorrow that leads to Christ. And there are some people, uh, they can change their mind, but they will not repent. They will come back. And so we, you are praying against, we are praying against whoever is behind your trouble, the pain of your, your, your life. Let the Holy Ghost fire locate them. Is you, do you know that Paul and Silas at midnight they prayed and God sent an earthquake to deliver them. The same midnight, the Bible says people slept and the enemy came to source it. And so look at two different scenarios. When you read Matthew chapter 13, 25, it says midnight, somebody saw the seed and slept and the enemy came and sowed seed. The same Bible as of the apostles in 25, at midnight, Paul and Silas, they prayed and God answered them. And so you can turn your situation around. That is why I say having a positive attitude, you can turn your problems into blessing. Have a positive mind as a, as a child of God, as a Christian. Yes, you may not see any good thing coming out of it. You, nothing good is around it. But look through the eye of Jesus and tell yourself, it shall be where one day you sit upon the throne. Sit upon the throne. We are praying. Whoever is behind your trouble, let the Holy Spirit, let the fire of Jehovah, let the tender of God locate them and drive them away, strike them. Let God break that arm of the wicked that is holding your life and don't want your life to come to pass. Don't want any good things to come into your life in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. 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 Pray in the name of Jesus. Rakada bojen de de branda se de de be. Ebanda da ba. Open your mouth and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Rakada bojen de de branda. Pray against them. Pray. Open your mouth and pray. Rakada bojen de de branda zande de be. Ebanda da branda zundoro boje kada ba. Pray against all the demons. Pray against all the Witches pray against them. Open your mouth and say, Lord Jesus, I pray against witches and wizards. I pray against the family demons, those who are behind the troubles of my life. In the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, just open your mouth and begin to pray. Pray in the name of Jesus. Whoever is the brain behind that demon, that witch, it can be a friend, it can be a brother, it can be a sister, it can be some a neighbor, it can be some. Somebody in the church, they are in the churches, they are in the churches, now the church has become cold. And all the wishes they have made the church their hope. Except where there is prayer, except where there is the Holy Ghost fire. Hope you mouth and pray that Father, whoever is behind the trouble of my life, whoever is fighting my destiny, my life, my marriage, my, I pray in the name of Jesus. Let fire locate them. Let fire locate them. Let fire locate them. Hope you mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we stand in the power of the Holy Ghost and we pray in the name of Jesus. Somebody call the name. Use the name. Rakata Bojen de de in the name in the name of Jesus, 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 of your mouth and pray. Let's continue to pray. Rika da bojanta da branda zunorobo, ibanta da branda zunorobo je, ikorono briada ba, ibanta da baronda briada ba. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, rande de boshi kanda da ba. Pray in the name of Jesus, my brother. Pray, woman, pray, pray in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. Again, we want to pray against the spirit of poverty. Poverty. Somebody says that, oh, I don't believe it. Poverty is a spirit. Poverty is a spirit. And the reason why you go to Africa 
Many people are poor. It's because of evil spirit. Somebody says, oh, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Come to America. Come to America and hear this. Some of us, we have worked in corporate organizations. We have worked in corporate. Hey, let me tell you. I went, when I went to university in George Mason, George Mason University, I took a class, a finance class. Immediately, I started the class. The teacher was a Chinese, Chinese American. Immediately, he saw my face. I sat in the class. He came to me directly and told me, told me, why did I choose the class? I have never interacted with him. Never interacted with him. Never talked to him. That was the first day he walked to me and told me, asked me, George Mason University, why did you take the class? You failed this class. He told me. He failed me the class. I went to the dinner. I went everywhere. It never went. Corporate America, the rich, all the rich people. I met one, one engineer, white an engineer. One engineer. I met one engineer. I went to work for him in Gavestin, his house. A very nice house. He's a white guy from uh, he's from South Africa. He sat me down. He said, Steve, do you want to be rich? I said, I said yes. He said that we have we have a society. When I came from, from Africa, I met a friend, a white friend, and took me to the society. All of a sudden, I'm rich. He has big houses, they have big cars. You think poverty is a spirit. And riches are, are also spirit. Don't look at Americans and say Americans are wise. Almost all of them, they have a spirit. They are in societies. The devil told Jesus Christ, you bow to me, I'll give you the whole world. Poverty is a spirit. And you have dreams. At times you have a dream. Somebody will be stealing your wallet. Somebody will be stealing everything from you. They will cause you poor. There are people that sit sit in the churches. You go to Africa, they are sitting in the churches. You think that they are stupid. Almost about 99% of the pastors are ritualists. They are ritualists. And they are using them. They are making them poor. So that they can get rich. If they don't use you, how can you... And so poverty is a spirit. Poverty is a spirit. They are using them. And so you continue to be poor whilst they will be rich. And listen to the go to African churches. The church is rich and the congregants are poor. The church is very rich. The church has everything. The pastor is driving in, in Range Rovers and have big cars. A buffer will come and show all his Rolls Royce and everything. Go into the church. Poverty is a spirit. We are praying against anyone that have made your life want to, to make your make your life rag. Greetings to you. So for Nanakrofimesa and brother for another man. We are praying against the demon of poverty. Africa, Africans, we are very wicked. They will drive you poor. They will fight against you on every other side. We pray in the name of Jesus, whoever is against your life, at times they will manifest in your dream. You, you have a dream and one of your shoes will be missing. You have somebody who has been stolen your, 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 your clothes. Somebody has been... It's Africa. Africa, we are very wicked. Africa. Africans are... Huh? I every day say is that all my white friends, when they come and listen to my programs, they will come and they say, oh, Steve, you are doing good. But uh, this uh, let Afri an African will come and all that he's looking is old. You are praying against the spirit of poverty. That any spirit, any demon that will fight your life, that wants to um, make your life like a rug, may the fire of Jesus Christ, may the Holy Ghost fire consume them. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. We are praying against it. It's a spirit. Somebody say you don't believe you sit down. You, you sit down. You sit down. We all came into this world. We have equal days, and that is why you go to you go to I I, I was born in Ashanti region. I am I, I, Ashanti, I was born in Kumasi and come back. All the rich, almost all the rich people, most of them come from Kumasi. Why? Because that is the the, the, the key of a court a court ring is in Kumasi. All the prophets are from Kumasi. Tell me that I am lying. Go to Accra. All them, the fake prophets, they are all from Kumasi. Tell me. Tell me that I am lying. 
pray in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Every demonic spirit of poverty that will make you a victim, may the Holy Ghost fire. Let the fire of God, let the tender of God, let the tender of God strike them in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. All the big churches, all of them, they are from Kumasi. They are from Kumasi. When we were growing, we thought that it was the Holy Spirit until the Lord opened our eyes. At times when, when, when the Lord opened your eyes and you see it, you think that it, it, and when you say, people will tell you it's a lie. Go and read Matthew 24. Jesus even said that the elect will be deceived. Those whom he has left because they will perform signs and wonders. They will do things. You think that, oh, this is a true man of God. They are evil. They are very evil. They are evil. I don't I wonder why. Nowadays, if you are a Christian, if you are a pastor, this man, they, do, they, they will send you a message. They want you to come to them. Why? Because they have pastors that will go to them. Previously, they, they even fear that if you are a man of God, they, they want to be a friend with you. But nowadays, they, will, they themselves will send you a message because they know. They don't fear the name of the Lord Jesus again. Because we are praying. Pray the Father, do not let me be a victim of somebody's any demon, any spirit of uh, spirit of poverty. You will pray against it in the name of Jesus. Let the fire locate them. Let the tender of God. Let the tender of God locate whoever wants you to rid your life. Cause you to be poor in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. 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 Open your mouth and pray. Pray in the name of the witches and the wizard. Envious spirit. Envious friends. Envious sisters. Envious brothers. Envious neighbors envious people that envy your life we pray in the name of jesus whoever is fighting you wants to run you wants to cause you let fire locate them in the name of jesus wickedness and witchcraft is spiritual expression through your emotions but by demons that try to thank you so for we pray in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name rakada bojen de de branda zanda daba rikada bojen da branda zende debe in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in jesus child of god have a positive attitude pray and I always encourage you, read the word of God before you step out. And then let the word of God be the last you read before you go bed to bed. Learn this. Have time with prayer. Because in this life, the Bible says we are not fighting against flesh and blood, against principalities. Many people are failing not because they are lazy. They are trying much as possible. Many people are dying on this earth not because... <laughs> they, they, they don't have any destiny to fulfill but I thank God I thank God for opening my eyes and understanding and at times I ask I ask God I pray I say God why do we have to fast and pray and pray and pray and fast until you open the spiritual realms to us because when you talk about the people don't see it nobody believes it when you talk about the things the things of the spirit nobody believes it when you talk about Jesus Christ, that way there's nobody want to hear anything about Jesus Christ. Nobody want to hear. Immediately you start preaching about Jesus and righteousness, everybody will be living. But there is no other way. There is no other way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and life. No one comes to the Father but by me. He's the only way. He's the only righteous way. That's why I say it, and I'll continue to say we have been deceived by end time charismatic leaders. We have been deceived by them. And I pray that they will repent. I was listening to Duncan Williams. He said that some of the messages he preached, now, if, if it was now, he will not preach. Some of the things they said, I said, thank God, Father, don't let us make a mistake and lead many people astray. Then the hymn also came and said that, that he has led many people astray the way he preached prosperity and they were fighting with him i pray that you will understand see jesus he is the only way do the will of god live a righteous life do live a righteous life 
and you find fulfillment for this life there is no other way there is no other gospel and hope to beat around the bush and time charismatic leaders have, have, have made people people's faith from the gospel now everybody the people cannot pray without anointing oil they cannot pray without anointing oil pastors cannot pray without anointing oil but the power is not in the oil it is in the lord it's in the holy spirit it's in the blood 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 and so instead of a christian waking up and praying in the morning because somebody had prayed on anointing oil they will take the anointing oil and use it and go out and prayer is missing good christianity is missing god own them the own corner god apology the own god apology and then christian christian leaders they have deceived us i told you i went to do a program in the church immediately i started praying they gave me anointing oil i said they should put it down and everybody was looking at my face because every pastor uses anointing oil and so if you don't use anointing oil they think that they have not received anything the man of god said power in the bottle who told you they are evil they are evil the power is not in the bottle the power is in the lord jesus christ and it's in the holy spirit it was the blood that overcame them may the lord bless you May the Lord open the heavens unto you. Seek Jesus and do the will of God. The Bible says He's coming and He has a reward. And you greetings to everybody. And God bless you. Jesus Christ dwells in you. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Greater is He that is in us than the world. Let me thank everybody. Please share our messages for us. Share. Let somebody hear the message of the cross and come to the Lord Jesus Christ. Have a positive attitude. I am talking about positive attitude. An attitude, positive attitude. And nowadays, many people think about Christianity outside and have forgotten Christianity inside. It starts from inside and comes out. Live a righteous life and do the will of God. And God will bless you. And don't sit in the church and, and, and rot in the church. Some, someone would, well, with your emotion, and you, you take everything that you have and go, go and sow in the church. Uh, and think that tomorrow God is going to who told you go and invest go and invest they will tell you that uh, oh, uh, uh, bring thousand dollars you are not going to die you go and take your retirement I again we have been deceived by end time Christian charismatic leaders <laughs> because they think about themselves let me end here the reason why we all go to church to worship God but, but because they come to church to worship God and also they are coming to work they think about their money and they are turning the gospel you have to preach a way that you give to them but we will preach the message of the cross don't take your your, your capital and because of your emotion you say that you are going to give to God <laughs> you take it you go you go and go to the bank and withdraw all your money and, and say yourself that I, you, are, you are being led by the Holy Spirit why is it emotions and go and so you become poor, you will die out of this world poor and they will tell you that bring a thousand dollars and they will wash your feet evil, evil evil, thank God God has opened our eyes go invest that money because God loves